Then you play the six normal summons. The best card is Sky Blaster. Oh my god. This card literally gives you an answer to anything in your deck or in your extra deck. Just making tokens, your opponent has to stop this because he, he can create two or three tokens. Uh, going to Skull Dread, making on with the Link Spider, or uh, just going to the Phoenix Blade, like anything you need, mm -hmm. this card can be coming. Who are you? Hey, Nikolai Howlett or Nikolai Solo. And Big what, bro, bro. Yeah, and what'd you do today? <laughs> Got 33rd. What? What, what deck? Uh, the new Spice, the Thunder Dragon, Danger Guard Dragon deck. Shout out to Kamal Crooks for that one. Shout out to Kamal Crooks. <laughs> How's this deck? The Nuts. The Nuts? This deck is disgusting. If you you can play Pot of Greed, you can summon uh, triple uh, two negates and have a Floodgate on board. What? And, oh, and rip two cards your opponent hand. <laughs> they took Gumblar off, but we're still Gumblar? playing Gumblar. That's crazy. It's too bad. I, Many times, um, like my last matchup against Guy Striker, yeah. he hand trapped me, and I took two more cards away from him, and I set up uh, Stein, Hot Red, and Colossal, and he's like, "Yeah, you got it, bro." That's yeah, nuts. That's nuts. <laughs> and then, uh, what's like the weaknesses of this deck? Uh, control, draw, and um, Inspector Border, Inspector Border, both of them. Okay. Yeah, but if you don't have those, yeah, yeah. you're losing. I'm you're sorry. Losing. It's too good, this deck. Too much combos. Yeah, it, it can fight you so much. Like, probably Robert and Gozen, but yeah. if you don't have those, like, I'm throwing cards at your face until you're dead yeah, you're, yet. You're cooked. You're dead yet. <laughs> you're cooked. You're a chef right now. All right, let's get into this. All right, so for the Thunder Dragons, you play Duo. Okay. Three Thunder Dragon, the OG. Mm -hmm. Two Hawk. Three Dark. And two Roar. Mm -hmm. uh, for this, because you're just playing in a smaller package. Yeah. Uh, Duo is a Chaos. It's also a level eight, so it can go into Zombie Sign. Uh, and it's also Thunder Dragon, so you can tribute it off. Uh -huh. uh, Hawk is reborn. Uh, the key cards is basically the Roar and the Dark, as always. Yep. Uh, going into them just to extend your plays and keep going on. Uh -huh. We were iffy on the original Thunder Dragon, but you need more cards yeah. to keep playing, uh, playing Thunder Dragon engine. Mm -hmm. Then you play the Double Levy in air. Oh, okay. Dark is Diablos, because like literally these two cards say, I'm taking two cards in your hand. Diablo says you can uh, tribute a dark, yeah. your opponent chooses which one. So they say like, oh, I'm going to put my best card at the top of the deck, sure. Levineer, I'm going to summon this, banish the three darts, now please, I'm going to shuffle one card from your hand back into your deck. So the card that you put on top, you're not yeah. getting that card. Nothing, God. And since they're both level eights, you can go into zombie sign with them. Oh, yeah. Oh, and this card also works well because you tribute a dark, um, yeah. a, th a dark thunder dragon to summon him to make only make Colossus. Okay. And then you play the... Three baby white dragons, uh -huh. two black, and it cooks Wavern. Wavern gets you to Chaos Legion in air, yep. and with Summon Sword, when you summon uh, one of the black and white dragons, uh -huh. you summon it, and then you go to Skull Dread. Okay. So you play those essentially because they also, if your hand is bad, you play the Thunder Dragon deck, sir. All right, cool. I'll play um, Guard Dragons later. Then you play the six normal summons. The best card is Sky Blaster. Oh my god. This card literally gives you an answer to anything in your deck or in your extra deck. Just making tokens, your opponent has to stop this because he, he can create two or three tokens. Uh, going to Skull Dread, making on with the Link Spider, or uh, just going to the Phoenix Blade, like anything you need, mm -hmm. this card can be coming. Too good. Three Bannerman Solar. Uh, you play essentially the six normal summons. Yep. If your deck is not that, uh, if your hand's not that good to extend, if it dangers or everything, you can have him to send off a uh, Aurora Dark, hawk it back, banish it with um, one of the baby dragons, and you can continue playing from there. Okay. I just did it because. Then for the danger lineup, three Nessies. Super expensive card now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard they jumped up to 70. 70 like, bucks oh, now. God. Thank Ooh. God I bought them for 30s. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, three Snakes. Okay. Uh, three Jack Lopes, you play those essentially because uh, this special summons a monster, Surge, and this it becomes a monster no matter what. Yep. So you have continuous ways to go into Skull Dread uh -huh. and go into your links. And then we play the one of Chupacabra yep. and one of uh, Mothman. Mothman is just more draw power, yeah. uh, dark world dealings, discard a card you don't need. Chupacabra is a reborn, so you can go into more links because keep feeding into uh, it. Okay. And the best card in the deck because Konami says that we're best giving card? part of greed. Best card? Best card? Play three oh, pot of greens. Oh, second light. Normally, we see this deck a lot back in BA. Huh? Uh, when you play this, your opponent is gonna be like, ah, oh, BA deck. All right, I'm gonna play Ash on it. Thank you. 
I now can just play every deck. You can't ash my um my skull dread. Uh -huh. You can't ash my roar. You can't you can't respond to those guys. You need other cards to beat those cards. Yeah. And this card, if you don't stop it, I'm drawing two more cards. It digs into the deck. This is the only card you need. Oh, you open to um a uh, black dragon and a white dragon. Sure. Seca's like banish it. Put the black dragon back in there. Summon the white dragon. Search it back. It's too good. Like this card is like I think was the key card of the deck. Just the playing God out of greed. Card. The God card. Like, I, with a lot of people playing this deck as in top card, I'm pretty sure that they'll be playing it too. Okay. Shout out to 33 once again. <laughs> <laughs> then you got the tokens. This is my little battery man token and the sky blaster token. Wow. Okay. So Bye. for the extra two skull dreads, skull um, dreads. draw four cards, yep. special summon a monster for free from your hand, mm -hmm. and buff. This card is really good. I'm surprised. Amazing. I'm surprised it's still at three. Like we play two, uh, you just only essentially need two. Yep. Uh, it is the easiest link four to get into, and just drawing four cards is amazing in this game right now. Then you play the uh, unicorn answers to anything. Yep. Uh, triple burst because of uh, the guard dragons have a clause that while they're face up, you can only summon dragon monsters. Oh. So you can go into this to keep going on uh, playing your deck, uh -huh. and this card be sky striker because they can't summon right. Or if you go against Trick Stars and they have the honest for Trick Stars and they have the of Candine, uh, the Candeline or whatever her name is, yeah. uh, it stops it. Okay. Someone's sort because she's still busted. And the combo to work with her is Reaper Duckus. Uh, I essentially didn't like these two because I didn't want to lose the hand traps. But yeah. they told me through like Kamal, Crooks, Andrew, and all, uh, Fidel and them, and they said like, if you report a hand trap to still, you have these two to extend your plays and keep playing. Mm -hmm. I didn't believe them until four uh, matches that I played where my opponent would ask either my Skull Dread or uh, Roar, and I'm like, I guess I'm playing Reproductive Summon Sword. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of times your opponent will think you're not going to give them a card, yeah. games two and three, and giving them a Roar, Battery Man, anything I don't need so you can't evenly match me, you can't impermanence my Skull Dread if I do go into it. Then you have Phoenix, the back row hate, uh -huh. and then Agro Pain and Elippi. Elippi summons the uh, the Darkest Diablos from the deck. Okay. It summons um, uh, Cliff Waver from the deck. So it, it keeps pushing through. And Agro Pain is your go to button for Hot Red Abyss. That's super good. That this oh is a hot God. card for this format. Uh, hot card. 32 attack. Uh, once per turn, target a face card on the field, negate the effect at the end of turn. With Skull Drake becomes 3,500. You, your boards become so big that your opponent says, if you don't get them off the board, yeah. they're gonna attack you and kill you for game. Exactly. And you play the Link Spider because uh -huh. of um, Fam Sky Blast, yep. so you can go to Skull Dread. Uh -huh. Then for your rent, uh, XYZ8, uh, Zombie Sign. Okay. So he's 4,500 attack. His effect is um, target a face card on the field. The, uh, send a card from your hand to Graveyard, switch him to defense mode, negate, the, um, negate that face card to the end of turn. So he's like a, a watered down version of Hot Red, but he's also another negate. Yep. Essentially, the, uh, the deck works out as you take two cards from your opponent's hand back into the deck, not discarding them, so you don't lose a danger mirror match. Yeah. And then you build up two negates and a blossom. Mm -hmm. So that's either, that's uh, they go to four cards when they draw, mm -hmm. they have to deal with a floodgate that says you can't search, yep. and you have two negates on the board, which yep. is really hard for a lot of decks unless they're playing another danger deck. Mm -hmm. And the only Thunder Monster you need, Colossus. Colossus. You're not playing Titan. No Titan? You don't need Egg. What? You're not Why? interrupting them because your interruptions are already there. Uh -huh. Zombie Sign and Hot Red, they're already interrupting your opponent. Oh. And this works out as a level 8, so sometimes you have to do sacrifice. There's times we can make a board of Skull Dread and three Colossus on board. Mm -hmm. So why don't you just make a Zombie Sign with it, sacrifice one Colossus. Yeah. You have a Negate on board and you have two Floodgates. It's too good. I did miss Titan. I, at the beginning, I was like, damn, I wish I had Titan. Like, nope, nah, I don't need him no more. You don't need that. This too guy much. is just too good. Yep. Side deck time. Yeah. So, just for standard, we yep. did three prank attacks. Yep. Uh, you don't want to lose a fuck these. You don't want to lose your opponent playing on um, Barbary goes in. Yep. Uh, this baits out other cards such as Widow Wanker and stuff like that. Uh, we figured that this being people playing variants of the deck or just uh, mirror matches in general, uh, we sided in three balls. Yep. Shout out to Travis for killing me ball <laughs> one. Um, this card. It, it takes up a normal summon, but 90% of the time you don't need a normal summon to make your plays. So if your opponent goes first, they make up the board of like uh, the same board that you're doing, you give them this wonderful present, and you say, game, because Levianir can get off the board, it doesn't target, so they start, um, Levianir can pop it off the board. Oh, wow. 
Diablos can fight through it, and you're just taking away resources that they invested heavy into. Uh huh. Yeah, hundred percent. And the next bet, uh, this is the best card I think. Best card. Like thank God for Maxi being gone because we have his brother. Ooh. So this card, uh, it shuffles. It um, gives you a protection effect because uh, if your opponent will target one of your monsters, this uh, helps you be um, be targeting so it's widowing. Yep. Uh, your opponent has links on board. You summon it depending on how many links they have. You draw, shuffle back uh, what you don't need. So this is really quick. I'm gonna see him going up in price. Like you need this card. Super good. And just in case for Alter Guys decks, three twin twisters okay. and card destruction. Card destruction. Yeah. <laughs> so you card your opponent because it's like, hey, uh, you sighting a lot of hand traps. Yeah. Can you just take them away, please? I don't want to deal with them. <laughs> Uh, you take out the second light uh, at times so you can just uh, play the card destruction and Twin Twisters. Twin Twisters only yeah. goes in, which I only put against against Alter Guys. Yep. Because uh, Sky Strikers, their uh, back rows are leaving the board because you're throwing them at you. Yeah. So you don't need to get them off the board yourself. Uh, card destruction just for um, hand trap decks. And decks that now don't play danger, essentially. Okay. And then for the mirror match, we side a Borlord. And for time situations, we decided into uh, Scarlight, Red Dragon, Arch Fiend. Oh. Uh, the game becomes, because it's like, you're kind of like a Goki deck, you do so much combos, you're taking a lot of time. And essentially, like you need a cheese button. Yep. Like Sky Strikers have Kaine, so they can like in time, mm -hmm. Kaine, play Sky, um, any Sky Striker card and gain life points. So why, why can't we do the same? Exactly. So we side into this. If you go into time, instead of Iger Payne going into anything else, you just go into here, mm -hmm. uh, blow up your board and burn up a 500 and say, I'm sorry. Sorry, it's too good. I haven't seen a sided extra deck card in so long. Yeah. Until now. You but, are a pioneer again. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! is always constantly evolving. Yeah. The one thing I would edit is probably playing more of this. More of this, dude? Yeah. The game is becoming more like Dragon Rulers with Thunder Dragon matchups. Yeah. And the first person to bowl Lord is usually the, uh, the person that loses first. Yeah. Because you, they make a bowl Lord take your cards, you make a bowl Lord take their bowl Lord and take another card. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, uh, do you have another one? Because I played two because of this situation just in case. <laughs> uh -huh. So probably is adding another one of this and probably just taking out all the twin twists and uh, card destructions. Okay. Awesome. This is like a phenomenal deck. I, uh, getting 33rd, I couldn't really showcase the deck in Top Cut, but there's a few people who's playing the either similar like uh, yeah. Hani, Furman, all those guys. Uh -huh. uh, any shout outs? Yeah, shout out to um, everyone in South Florida, Kamal Crooks, Andrew Fidella, Travis, Geo, the Talent Island, State, Patrick, uh, Willie Hunter, uh, my boy Eric Pun. Like, thank you to everybody. Uh, thank you, just essentially, it's mostly just a Kamal Crooks. I showed up late uh, at midnight on Friday, or midnight on Saturday, huh? and he said, here's a deck list. And I'm like, wait, all right, sure, I'm playing this deck. Wow, <laughs> so nice to this guy. Yeah, that's Super my boy. Super nice man. Right okay, you want a free shirt? Uh, yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, oh, hold on. run it. Hey, guys, so here's your free Ooh. shirt. This is an app to make tournaments for Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. I like it. And we're going to host a, a free $500 tournament. So a winner of this tournament online will make, get like $100. Oh. Cash. Oh, so. Cash prize. Snap. Yeah. You better so. go to that. That's that's good money right there. Uh, what's your name again? Uh, Nikolai Howlett, aka Young Bro, uh, Big Bro Fro, uh, solo down in Florida. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.